Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Same outfit, third video. It is a Vintage Chic Sense video. This is from her November restock, which was the Have Yourself a Very Vintage Focus Issue. Always an issue with this. Let's see. We'll show you the back. There we go. Awesome. So it was a very vintage Christmas um, sampler or theme. I purchased the sampler and um, some four packs. Not too big this time. There was just some staple things that I really wanted and some new things that I wanted to try this month. So as always, you get a sample and it is in Phantom of the Opera, which is Spice Pumpkin Marshmallow Zucchini Bread. And I really pick up on the pumpkin and the zucchini bread. Marshmallow is very hard for me to smell. I should have gotten the Marshmallow Man or Marshmallow Me or whatever. Marshmallow Man um, loaf this month, but I didn't. Just so I can see like what marshmallow would be like. But I just smell like a spicy pumpkin zucchini. It's nice. Then for four packs, we'll start off <clears throat> with the first four pack that I have always wanted to try this scent. I knew I was going to like it. And she poured it in four packs, which is my favorite size. I love her four packs. They're so easy to store. So I bought five. One, two, three, four, five, four packs. Now let me tell you, my OCD is killing me right now because all of these have two blues and two yellows, except this one has three yellows and one half and half. So I don't know if she ran out of oil or not, but this is in... Sandy's Famous Orange Julius, and I make my own scent labels for her wax, but this one is Creamy Orange Julius and Whipped Cream. It's everything that I wanted it to be. It is an Orange Julius. It's not just orange, it's creamy whipped cream orange, like an Orange Julius. It is incredible. It is insane how good this is. Oh, I love it. This is this was poured in November. It'll be so ready for next year. I'm so excited to melt this. Oh my god, it is the ultimate scent. It is so good. It is so creamy orange. It's everything that I wanted it to be. So we're going to do the other four packs. I have five other four packs, all different scents. A couple of them are in the sampler, so once they are, once I talk about them in the sampler, I obviously won't talk about them again. So the first one is frozen hot chocolate, which is hot cocoa with marshmallow and mint. And as you can see, there's like a lighter purpley wax and a brown wax. And to me, this just smells like frozen hot chocolate. It doesn't smell super minty. I mean, I can get a tiny bit, but I would not classify this as a mint scent. It's definitely strong on the chocolate. I really, really like this one. <coughs> Next, we have Blue Christmas, which is sweet marshmallow and peppermint whip. So like just a peppermint marshmallow type scent. And I don't really smell a whole lot of peppermint on this. I know it's a sweet or peppermint whip, so I guess it's like a really sweet toned down peppermint because I really don't smell a lot of peppermint in this. It's really just a creamy, creamy scent. I mean, maybe a tiny, like I said, a tiny bit. Peppermint is more dominant in the frozen hot chocolate than it is in this, which is interesting because this is like a peppermint dominant scent. I don't know. So that was Blue Christmas. This one's super strong. This one I was really excited about. Meli Kaliki Maka, which is pine cone and lime type, which was a scent that Death or that Yankee Candle came out with called Pine Cone and Lime. And I really liked it. And I've never smelled it before. And this is exactly it. It has a really unique scent to it. I don't know if it's pine cone that I'm smelling, but you can get the lime. But then it has like a woody, cedary type note in it. That is awesome. So I'm really excited. This will be great next Christmas because this is poured in November as well. So it'll be perfect for next Christmas. Melting that. Then I have The Night Before Christmas, which is caramel cream cheese pretzel bars, which is interesting. The pretzel really intrigued Ugh, me on this one. I can smell the pretzel and the cream cheese and the caramel on this. I can get each note separate. I can really start to smell the pretzel, the salty, salty pretzel. A little bit yeasty with a caramel and some car and some cream cheese. It's really cool. It's really cool. I really like that. I'm happy about that one. It's pretty cool. And then the last four pack I got is Times Square Countdown, 
which is strawberry, green, apple, and champagne. I don't love this. It's like, I don't like the champagne scents, I don't think, because there's a couple champagne scents that I'm just not a fan of, and this is one of them. It just, like, it's there. It doesn't do anything for me. I definitely can pick up the green apple and the strawberry and the champagne. Like, I can smell them all, but it's just like, it's nothing to me. Like, it doesn't smell crazy to me. So then we have the Have Yourself a Very Vintage Christmas Sampler, which I am very excited about because it is poinsettia shapes, and I never had poinsettia shapes before. So the first one's frozen hot chocolate, but I already talked about that. Blue Christmas, we already talked about. The Night Before Christmas, we already talked about. And then I believe Times Square Countdown, we also already talked about. So there's 10, so we have six left to try. This one is Picture Window Tree. This is stand out for this order for me. So this is what the point set of shape looks like. It's dual toned. Comfort and clean scent with notes of warm mittens, melting snow, crisp mistletoe, and musky woods. I just love this. It has such a crisp note to it. I love this. And it doesn't smell like warm wool and mittens from Yankee Candle. Like, I'm just trying to focus. Like you would think it would. It just smells really fresh. I don't know. It's hard to describe, but I love this. So... I ordered the sampler because I knew I was going to want to melt all these next year, and I let VCS cure for a whole year before I start melting them. Then we have Ice Lights, which is ribbon candy inspired scent featuring. I hate that this does not focus. Like, it'll focus on this. There we go. Featuring sweet strawberry, lemon, creamy orange, and green apple. I love the color of this one. This one is like bright pink and yellow. That's what happens. It's like I do that and then it doesn't focus. So let's focus on the name. Focus on me. There we go. It's nice. It's not my favorite. It just smells like, like a candy. It doesn't smell like anything crazy. These are very thick. Poinsettias, by the way. Very sick poinsettias. Then we have Oh Holy Night, which is butter pecan shortbread zucchini. This is really strong. It smells like butter pecan, like butter pecan ice cream. I'm not getting a whole heck of a lot of shortbread, but I do get the zucchini bread. The zucchini bread is definitely strong in this. But it's yummy. It's very yummy. I like that. Then we have Big Brown Bag, which is a Bloomingdale's bag. Salted Caramel, Eggnog, and Jackie O, which is Marshmallow Birthday Cake, Vanilla Bean Noel. One of her cult following favorite scents. I actually like this, and I've never had Eggnog before. I don't know if I like it or not, but I smell Salted Caramel mainly and Jackie O. The eggnog just creams this up and makes this a lot creamier of a scent, in my opinion. I'm trying to keep this video at like 10 minutes. I think we'll be able to. Then we have Christmas Time is Here, which is sugar cookies, Christmas trees, and peppermint. I already know I'm going to melt this on Christmas Day next year throughout the whole house. I love this. So I get sugar cookie, and I get Christmas tree, and I get peppermint. I love this Christmas tree. I don't love pure pine scent. And this isn't. This has the Christmas tree, but with the sugar cookie and the peppermint, this makes us an ultimate Christmas Day scent. If I would never be able to melt this on Christmas Day here this year, so next year it is getting poured or is, is getting melted on Christmas Day next year. It is awesome. I love that. And then last but not least is Cookies for Santa, Vanilla Bean, Graham Crackers, Whipped Cream, and Zucchini Bread. Again, with the Zucchini Bread, I can really smell a lot of the Zucchini Bread. And I feel like Vanilla Bean, Graham Cracker, and Whipped Cream is all, like, blending scents. So this just makes for, like, a very toned-down Zucchini Bread. I feel like if you don't like Zucchini Bread, you could do this scent because it doesn't have the strong Zucchini Bread. Everything else is just mellowed out by it. Yeah. But 
It's nice. I like that. I'm so excited. I love VCS. It just stinks that, like, I have to let her stuff cure for a year to get a super strong scent for like I like. But... I have enough of it, it just tucked away, and I know it's going to be so good next year. So letting it cure and melting it away. But anyway, that was my video. I hope you guys had a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!